you have any strong feelings on the subject? I'm not eating meat. Yeah. But if, I, if I could afford it, I'd eat plenty. Do, do you think anyone thinks of it from the animal's point of view? Do you think anyone looks at it from the animal's point of view, as in, uh, well, it's, it's not fair to if kill I them? could afford it, mm. I'd go buy it, wouldn't I? <laughs> A multinational company controls all aspects of production, from the extraction of the raw material to the processing plants, from the advertising campaign to the finished packaged product on its own chain of supermarket shelves. Forests cut down to provide the land, to grow the wheat, to feed the cows, to produce the meat for the beef burgers you eat, for the leather on your feet. One man's meat is another man's dying children. One man's overconsumption is another man's malnutrition. One man's wife slaving over a hot stove. Another man's wife slaving under a hot sun. People can say no. Any strong feelings about it? Uh, no, I think it's got to do with the, the way people have been brought up. Yeah. There was like the family background. Yeah. Not just with that, with everything.
war machine, the bomb factory.
and yet nobody questions the presence of military forces as actually causing a war as they advertise its worth as a threat in averting a war. Well, Paulie got burgled, as you know. I know, I heard. But I didn't know you had as well. And now I'm destroying his program. <laughs> oh, I'm, oh, yeah, we got burgled on holiday. Did you? Mm. Well, on the holliers, on the actual holliers. On, on the actual... Caribbean Maneuver! Tactical movements! Scum of land! Keep it in check! Because you're the man! It's not. You know we were going on yesterday. Manipulate! You know, you're sort of... Deal with skill! Deal with tact! Deal with woman! From the bottom of the pack! Mr. Dempster for saying Her Majesty the Queen had five children. Manufacture! Make a bit! And make a rules! Because all with fools, we'll use the rules. It's not five children. Is that what Dempster said? He's saying? Mannequin. Let the body talk. Let the body sell. The flesh not raised. The makeup of itself. Fine children. These are not five children. Mannequin. Devious little swine. Change the cooker. Change the sink. Happy when I'm happy. Because woman doesn't think. Um, I've rescued you from this manicure. Hand it with care. When it care for those hands. Cross hands that do dishes are softer than man's. I promise to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but lies. They use their lies to get their dirty work done. They use their lies to get their dirty work done. It's a lie. They use their lies to get their dirty work done. Shit pie. They use their lies to get their dirty work done. It's a lie when they tell you you were born equal and free. These chains have had since birth are still hurting and restricting me when they say your life and liberty are yours and yours alone. It's a lie that would let you think it if it didn't have control. And so true, it's another clever lie As the UK see a bruise exploit and send you off to die With privacy and home and free from interference It's a lie that in your living room, everywhere It's a lie when they say they'll never persecute you Innocent before guilty, it's a lie you will get used to The right to free speech is another misconception They'll make sure that no one tells of their continual deception They'll arrest, detain and exile and discriminate and lie to you when they say it's you they really care about it's a lie when they say your vote means that you're being heard it's time you stop crossing boxes they tell these lies try to hide them I told the truth and not go inside they call them to keep them lies they go away make your mind they think they're part of the human and oppressed they think they're part of the intent of stress they use the lies in the very winter they use the lies hold by their guns they use the lies in the very winter they use the lies hold by their guns
Mr. Knott had a message for the families and friends of the men in the task force. The intensive fighting of the last few days has produced tragic loss of life on our side. And the House will join with me in conveying the deep sympathy of the whole nation to the relatives and friends of those killed and injured. We all feel deeply, too, for the constant concern and worry of the families and friends of our servicemen. They are showing great patience and understanding in very difficult circumstances. Mr. Knott said the names of casualties were not being released until the next of kin had been informed. But in order to counter the false propaganda coming out of Argentina, the government were giving some general information on the progress of military action as soon as it was confirmed. Setting out the British position on the islands. Our forces are now established on the Falkland Islands with all the necessary supplies, together with their heavy equipment and air defence missiles. They have mobility with a large number of helicopters at their disposal, and their spirits are high. But I must emphasize that our men, that our men still face Three formidable problems later, in difficult terrain with a hostile party. We must expect fresh attacks upon them. And there can be no question of pressing the force commander to move forward prematurely. The judgment about the next tactical moves must be his and his alone. But one thing is certain. The days of the occupying Argentine garrison are numbered. And it will not be long before the Falkland Islanders once again have their democratic rights restored. Anything can happen in the next four minutes. Don't panic, because the windows are whitewashed, the windows are whitewashed, so therefore no, they you shit your pants. In Texas there's a man, fastened by his hands, to a bed in a prison all alone. It's a dirty, dirty, dirty job He kills a man by injection And the law says it's legal The man in the street Says to let him die An eye for an eye A kill for a kill They gave him a life And took it away A man kills a man, the state kills a man Tell me what's the difference, is there a difference? Another life is lost, this justice is not just Before the next one dies we have to open our eyes And open our mouths and shout None of us has a right, contingent or otherwise, to uphold the law that suits us and to break the one that doesn't.
our weapons. It's all weapons. Every clenched fist and every clever lie. Every act of aggression is a war. It's this simple. If everybody wanted peace, we could have peace. But no. With bloody muscles, they defend their possessions. With bloody wars, they defend their power to its bloody end. The arms race has only losers. Who cares? We